Hi everyone. So today we'll see one more uh, entry question today. So how to schedule your uh, Informatica workflows? And suppose if you are going to some interview, they may ask you, can you explain how you are uh, scheduling your workflows? Or else they may ask, can you explain what are the different properties we have uh, in scheduler, Informatica scheduler? Or else they may ask, in different ways, can we explain that how you are scheduling your jobs and what are the possible ways we have in Informatica? So they can ask like different questions on the scheduling part. Okay. So Informatica itself, we have a default scheduler. Okay. So by using that, we can schedule the Informatica's workflows. And also, we have a third party schedulers. By using that, also, we can schedule the Informatica. Workflows. Okay, so if you see uh, any projects now, or if you are taking any one company, some uh, majority companies they're not using the Informatica scheduler. I mean, the default scheduler they're not using very rarely. Okay, but uh, they always use the third party schedulers to schedule the jobs. So there are many third party schedulers like a Controlium, and we have a Atosis and we have a title, like we have a different third party schedulers. So as per their requirement or as, as per their convenience, they use the third party schedulers to uh, run the ETL workflows. Okay. Uh, but Informatica scheduler also we can use it. But some if you take 100 projects out of that 80 projects, they use third party schedulers. Okay. Uh, few projects they may use this Informatica scheduler. Okay. So we'll see now uh, how we can schedule, I mean, Informatica workflow by using the Informatica default scheduler. Okay, so what is the purpose of this? As everyone knows that. So what is the purpose of the scheduler? So if you want to run Informatica workflow, so how we run the Informatica workflow? Uh, just we'll go to the workflow uh, manager and we simply right click and start workflow. That's what we do. This is what we do, right? Suppose I don't want to run manually. So as per my uh, business requirement, it should run on specific time. Suppose let's see, it should run midnight 12 o'clock. So I don't want to go and trigger this like, like this. So, so automatically once the time, uh, it reaches the time, then automatically should trigger the workflow. That means I don't want to run manually so as per the schedule, that particular uh, workflow should trigger. Okay, so that is the purpose. So to avoid this manual execution, so we use the scheduler part. So by using the scheduler, we can automate the job. Okay, that is what the purpose of the scheduler. So how no, now we'll see how to create a scheduler and what are the different properties we have in that, that we are going to see. And also you have to remember, we have two types of schedulers, reusable, another one is non-reusable. So if you create a non-reusable scheduler, that will be applicable for only that per that particular workflow okay so if you create an it's a reusable that you can reuse anywhere in that particular folder okay so that particular uh, scheduler you can reuse in that uh, you can reuse or you can connect to the any of the workflow in the particular folder but only the problem here is Whenever you use this reusable uh, scheduler, so you should be more careful because suppose I created a scheduler called A, here I created a scheduler called B. Okay, so this is non reusable. This is reusable. Okay, so let's see this particular scheduler A, I have connected to workflow one. Workflow one, workflow two, workflow three. Okay, 
But if you see this B is a non reusable, I connect it to workflow 5. If I change it here, something, suppose let's see, I change the schedule time. Okay. Then it, re it reflects the change on the only specific workflow. Because it's a non reusable one, you have created for this particular workflow. But coming to the reusable, so this particular scheduler, you connect, or sorry, <clears throat> you have used it for these three workflows. If you update here, <clears throat> It will update the schedule for all this workflows. So you should be more careful whenever you create a reusable scheduler. So if you are not changing anything, that will be fine. But if you change something, right, it will reflect into all the workflows. Okay. So that as per the requirement, you have to create this, whether it's non-reusable or reusable. But this is the difference between a reusable scheduler or non-reusable scheduler. Okay. So now we'll see how to create the schedule and what are the different properties we have. Okay, so where we create, so let's take any of the one workflow here. I'll show you how to create it. Okay, so now if you see, I'm just opening one workflow. So first let me validate, it should be valid one. Okay, so now you see here, there is a scheduler option here. Okay, you can click on this, or else you can click on the edit, there is a scheduler tab. So if you see here, there's an option, non-reusable and reusable. Okay, if you select non-reusable, okay, it will be, okay, so it will be for only this, this particular workflow. If you select a reusable, that you can use for any of the workflows under this folder. Okay, so not reusable. So now click on that. So if you want to make it as a reusable, check this box, then automatically to convert as a reusable. So scheduler underscore one. Okay, apply. Okay, okay, so. Click on this. Now you see this, I have created a scheduler one. The name of the schedule is scheduler underscore one. But if you see here in the schedule option, there are many options we have. So we have three options usually. So run options only we have three. This, this, and this. So first we will see run continuously. So what is mean by run continuously means, okay, you have created a workflow one. Okay, suppose it took one hour to complete the entire load. So after, that means let's take now time is, let's take a 14.24. Okay, so it took one hour, that means 15.24, it got completed. Okay, so if it is completed at this time, so immediately 15.25, I want to trigger the, again, the same workflow. That means once the load is completed, immediately I want to trigger one, one more time. So like that, it is keep on running 24 by 7. Okay, that means whenever the load got completed, then automatically it will run one, run one more time. Like, it's like 24 by 7, it will keep on run, like for years also. If you make it... A, the option like this run continuously okay then it will con uh, continuously it, it will run forever so this is disabled anyway okay so run there is the option of run continuously so whenever the integration service initialize the i mean integration service initialize the service then immediately this particular workflow will start so it keep on run. Once the previous run is complete, then immediately it will trigger the next run. So like that forever it will keep on running. So there is no limit or there is no deadline. Uh, there is no end for this. If you use this run continuously. Okay, so it's a run on demand. So run on demand is nothing but, okay. So run on demand is nothing. It's like a manual. So whenever I want to run, then I can run this. That means 
you are going to run manually. So as per my request, I am going to run the workflow. That is the run demand. So I mean, whenever I want, as per my convenient, I am going to run it. That is that's the meaning. So run it on integration service. There is a different options they have. So what exactly it means is, whenever the integration service initialize the service, then it will start the workflow as per the schedule options. So here also same only. Whenever the integration service initializes service, okay, then it will start triggering it. But once the workflow is complete, then immediately it will start. But here also the same thing, but only the difference is as per the options, whatever choose, as per this, it will run. So whenever the integration service is initialized at the service, then whatever the set schedule options you have, as per that, it will run. But here, also same, but continuously it will run once the load is complete. But here you can choose an options, suppose run once. Suppose let's see, I want to run the workflow on specific time. Let's 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 take 31st night. Okay. Yeah. I want to run every day night midnight zero one. Or else every day. Not every day, sorry. So now we are going to run only once on this specific day. That means 31st of this month, night 1.30, okay, night 1.30 a.m. I If I click on apply, okay, so this particular workflow. So workflow underscore M underscore D lookup. This particular workflow on this particular date. So on this particular time, it will run one time. If it is succeeded, then that's it. It now after that, it will not run. It will not repeat because we said only once. Just run one time, then stop it. Okay. So this particular day, it will automatically trigger on this particular time. We only run manually. So once the time it reaches this eleven, I mean one thirty, automatically it will trigger the workflow. So once it is succeeded, then it will not run going forward because it we, we it's just selected option called run once. Okay, that is about the run once. I mean, only one time you want to run it on specific day or specific time. Run every day, hours, minutes. Okay, so suppose if you see there is some transactional information. Okay, suppose you are using a credit card or you are withdrawing a money in ATM. So how it is updating in the backend? So suppose there is some program, in the, suppose they have designed some code in the ETL level, let's see. So you should update, right? So whenever some transaction happened, so you are not going to do the transaction every minute, right? So there will be some buffer time will be there. Let's assume. So I just mentioned like uh, one hour, let's see. So that means this particular workflow runs every one hour. So it will extract the data from source, it will update the target table. That means whatever the transactions you have done, it will update in the backend. Such kind of requirement. Okay. So one of my one of the project I worked uh, around six years back, uh, there we have every 30 minutes the job should trigger. So the particular job run only 15 minutes, then again after 30 minutes the job triggers. That means every half an hour interval, the, the job keep on triggering. Because they have some transactional data, so they want to update, I mean, uh, every 30 minutes. So that is hours, sorry, sorry, it's hours, right? Okay, hours, it's how minutes they can see how to mention here. So if it is every one hour you want to run it, you just mention like this, or else you want to run this particular workflow every 30 minutes, just you can mention this, or else I want to run this every day, okay? Then you can use a days, okay? So third option is customized. So now you can see here. So now repeat every day, okay, one day, 
Okay, so now there are again options. We have a weekly run on the day. So on specific day. So we have. So I'm just selecting it. So now you see here, run day we have. So now if we see days, days in the case, all the days. We have seven days, right? That particular day, if you want to use it, okay, then you can go with the days option. Okay, every week, we have a week here. Suppose see, every week on this particular specific day, okay, repeat every Monday. Okay, so the requirement here is see, repeat every one week. That means every Monday, it will run. Okay, so now there is a monthly job. That means, see, we can just specify that suppose it's like a daily or weekly or monthly by selecting these options and we have a time also. See here, you can select the time. So the customized means, so you can customize as per your requirement. So suppose I want to run weekly, I want to run monthly, I want to run like a daily basis. So that as per your convenience, you can, or else supposedly I want monthly. So only second Monday I want to run it. Yes. Suppose I want to run every second Sunday. Yes. See, of the month. So this is like customization. So as per that business requirement, if you want to do something other than the regular uh, options, you can go with this. Okay. So that is about the customized. So now we, here you have again end options also we have. Okay. So what are exactly the end options here? Okay. Suppose run once we have a run continuous. Suppose let's take run continuous. Okay. That's not required anyway. So, so now if you see end options we have. So run on integration service initialization. So if you select this, suppose like I just removed the day. Okay. Zero. Sorry. So now every 30 minutes I want to trigger it. Okay. So now, so the start date for this particular uh, schedule is 31 of this month, but I want to end it this year end, let's take December, by December 31st, this should not run. So this is the last run. So until this one, so now see here, every day 1.30, it is running. Okay, every day 1.30, it is running. So what is the end date here? 31st, 12, 2023. That means by this time, it will start. So this will be the last run. So that means that we are specifying the end time. Okay. Suppose if you select this after one run, suppose let's see. So it is started by this particular time on this particular day. So end after one run, once the run got completed, then should not trigger it. Suppose I just mentioned five runs. So what it mean? So 130 it will start. Then interval here 30 minutes you have given. So 5 runs it will. So 130, 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3.30 like that. So it will run 5 runs. Then after that it will not trigger. So it will start forever. So forever in the case there is no end. If you schedule this job, so it will run until you stop it. Okay. So suppose if you schedule this particular day. So like 1 year, 2 year, 3 years, keep on running. Okay. So until you change the schedule, it never stops. So these are the different options we have, but if this three options you have to remember, but this no one is asked, but at least you have to remember uh, if they ask, so you have to explain like this. So we have a default informatica scheduler. We have three type of run options. We have one is run continuous, run on demand, run integration service initialization. So run continuous in the case automatically. So, I mean, so once you once the integration service initialization uh, initializes the service, then automatically it will trigger. So once the workflow is complete, immediately it will start the next run. So come to the on demand. So whenever you want to run manually or on demand, wherever you want, I mean, I mean, whenever you want to run this, you can use this option. So this is like a again same thing. Whenever the integration service initializes the service, it will run as per the schedule options. So we have a run run once, run every customized. So run once for only one run. 
so then i want to stop it so run every 30 minutes or one hour every five minutes or every one day so or else every five hours so some customization happen required then i may go with this options so end options end on end after forever so end on in the case particular day i want to stop it so end after only after 10 runs or 5 runs or 30 runs i want to stop it yes you can do that forever it never stops so start option is this one so what time you want to what date you have to start it and what time you have to trigger it so these are the different options we have but you don't need to remember all here but it's at least you should explain this three what is mean by run on it i mean integration service initialization run on demand and run continuously so if you explain this thing that will be sufficient suppose if you remember the schedule options also that will be fine suppose you can say that once you enable this uh, run on integration service initialization there will be three options for the schedule run once run every customization run once in the case only one time it will run run every we have day hours minutes if you select what is the option as per that it will run so customization so if you want to customize the scheduling part Suppose there is a requirement, I want to run my workflow every month, first day. Such case, you can customize it. So they have different options like this. If you explain these things, that will be well sufficient. But to be frank, uh, we are not frequently using the schedule option, Informatica schedule option. So we depending on the third party schedulers, as I said initially, like we have a control M and autosys, and uh, title like we have many things so based on that it will trigger the informatica workflows but this is will be useful okay this will be useful if you are attending the interviews if anyone asks can you explain that so what is in the scheduler so where is this options available how you schedule it so now you people know that right where is options available you have to go to workflow edit schedule option we have a reusable and non-reusable they may ask question also can you explain what is in by reusable scheduler non-reusable scheduler so as i said initially so reusable scheduler so it will be used for the many workflows if you edit the particular scheduler it will reflect on all the workflows but non-reusable it is specific to the particular work okay that is what you have to remember and so how to create it you have to go here so now if you click on this so now here you can create a scheduler as per the requirement so here you have to specify the name of that okay so now we have created a non-reusable so it will be specific to the particular workflow so if it's a reusable okay if it's a reusable okay no schedule there are no schedule objects in the folder okay that's fine so as it, it is not reusable only for this particular workflow so reusable that will be for all so let me show you the other way to create it so now here also we have an option schedule so you can create it here also click on new okay so you can create a schedule underscore okay schedule so you can create it okay so now this is a schedule so like this also you can create now you see there are many things scheduler option here and another another one edit schedule option so like this okay so that's what you have to remember so what is meant by non-reusable and reusable also you have to understand so that is about the scheduling part so if it is required you can go here and you can schedule it okay if it is not required then you can ignore so just like prepare for the interview purpose so for anyone ask instead of saying no so you can at least explain that so informatica scheduler we have two types of schedulers reusable and non-reusable and non-reusable is something but it is specific to the particular workflow okay so it is specific to the workflow okay so the second thing here is reusable in the case it is like you can reuse and I, that particular schedule we can reuse to the any of the workflow okay that's what I had explained. So after that, if they ask, can you tell me what are the different properties or run options we have, then you have to explain the run options here, what we have. So run options, this one, we have to explain. If they still ask about the, the schedule options, you can explain or else that will be fine. I think they just explained only these three. 
So how you schedule, if you say that, so I can say that I can go to the workflow. There is an edit option. So there is a schedule. So going with that, so I can go and create a schedule for the particular workflow. So you select it automatically to the schedule. Okay, that is what you have to explain. So, uh, but we are not frequently using this informatical scheduler. But uh, as I said, like they are using a third party scheduler for many projects. Okay, so that's all for today's session. Then we'll see with other question and next. I mean next session.